When we think about heart failure, we think about shortness of breath, difficulty with breathing, fatigue, exhaustion, and lower extremity edema or leg swelling. But there's an even worse complication, and that's called cardiac cachexia. It's often missed. What is cardiac cachexia? Cardiac cachexia refers to a progressive condition in which the body weight diminishes over time with chronic heart failure. Patients will lose muscle, fat, and in some cases, bone mass. And what do I see on a physical exam in such patients? We're talking about muscle wasting and loss. So think of your bi-temporal regions. And we've got a loss in very end stage of buccal fat right there. Then we have a loss in muscle and fat above the clavicles. We have wasting of the intraosseous muscles and the ribs in some severe cases. Patients will report feeling weaker, more fatigued, and less physically resilient. They report tiring earlier and struggling with their day-to-day -day activities and chores, activities that they used to do without difficulty. And they'll report feeling tired all the time. This is not intentional. They are not trying to lose this weight. They're eating their three meals a day as much as they're able, but they're just losing muscle mass. Cardiac cachexia predicts worse outcomes independent of age, exercise capacity, or even ejection fraction. Why does this happen? Well, there's a complex interplay of neurochemicals and hormones. We have an elevation in the neurochemicals epinephrine and norepinephrine. We have an elevation in the hormone cortisol, which is often referred to as a stress hormone that has a complex role in our immune system. There are also high levels of renin and aldosterone, hormones that help regulate and manage blood pressure and electrolytes such as sodium and potassium. All these hormones push the body into a catabolic state, which leads to the body breaking down. There's no problem with the body breaking down, but there is if there's no compensatory building up. It's important to understand cardiac cachexia and how this may play a role in the diagnosis of heart failure. If you like this content, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm here to make the medicine make sense. Until next time.